Hey Greens, welcome to another episode of Cash or Trash, where we test multiple craft kits to make sure that you don't waste your money, but I do. Right, Burp? Why do I see your butt? Bring your butt over here, because I have things to tell you. <gasps> that was a hit! And now you're not running. Oh, now he's running away. <laughs> and he's doing a victory dance! So today we're going to be looking at four craft kits from Crayola. Sometimes I just want to rebrand them and call them Crayola. One of the biggest questions that many of you have been asking is whether or not my parrot and my sister are the same person. Are you? Bert? Are you the same person as my sister? That's a hit and run. So let's find out if they're the same person. Yep, they're the same person. So joining me today to um, take a shot at Crayola is my sister Sika. Say hi. Hello. Did you also just interrupt me telling people to say hi to you? Maybe. Is my sister Sika. Say hi. Hello. You can't tell me what to do. You don't know me. <laughs> so today we're going to be looking at Crayola Glitter Dots Keychain. It looks really cute. I specifically got it because there's a kitty cat. Kitty on it. I knew it. Magic Transfer Stationery Kit. My biggest worry with that one is, are they tattoos? Hmm. Next we have Sprinkle Art Shaker. I'm really curious. I love, I love my glitter. Are yeah. they edible sprinkles? No. Is it sprinkles? That's true, it's supposed to be glitter. And last but not least, we have a glow lamp kit. All these seem really fun, and I love the way that they change their packaging to make it a lot less kitties. They look more modern now. They do look modern. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's Crayola. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nothing is immune. From the salt. Our first victim. <gasps> I mean, review. Glitter Dots Keychains. This kit is absolutely adorable. I mean, we have cute little animals disguised as food. I think I definitely want the kitty taco. The kataco. The kataco. I really want the sloth with the pizza. It's so cute. It's so you, too. You know what? I quit! I'm out of here! <laughs> so done with this abuse. So the idea behind this kit is that we should be able to make a glitter keychain with, with no less with mess. That's my life! But we all know, at least that's me, that glitter is like a virus. It just spreads everywhere. I just lip synced you. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. So I'm really excited to try this out. We know that Crayola does not have the best of products or, or best reputation with me because I'm already salty. We only reviewed a couple of them together and I, I was like, no. They've updated their packaging, so I'm hoping the inside is nicely updated as well. Hoping that the products are much better than the last time. You know you sound pretty angry, right? I am annoyed already. So I love that I've raised you with the salt. Crayola is crapola. It's crapola, or is it carpola? All right, for those of you wondering, this kit was $10.99 Canadian. All right, time to see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. Three cute keychains. Puppy. Sloth on pizza. Which I call Sika. That's a cool one. And the kitty taco. And they're really cute, but there's a huge but. If you look closely, the box itself made it seem like it was kind of embossed, but it is a flat piece of acrylic. Nothing is sticking out. 42 glitter dots. Some colorful beads. This tool. I'm assuming it's to squish it. Or scrape. It's not pointy and sharp enough. Some beads that are made to cover up the string. And three blue keychains. We also get the instruction, instructional manual, so we're gonna go ahead and read this and figure out how to use it. All right, so it turns out we're both doofuses because, well, speak for yourself. We're both doofuses because this actually does open up. It does, it does, there we go. Yeah. And so you can see that it does have little crevices that we should be able to put the little dotty glitter thingy majiggies. <coughs> <laughs> All right, 
right, so we're going to be popping out those little glittery things. We sh I think all it says is that we're supposed to be pushing them yeah. down. I think it's pushing it down with this. No. No? Okay. Let's try it. So my question to you is why are we using this clay thingy? Or when do we use this clay thingy? Where did the oh, there. It blended in. There was no mention of why we should be using this, so... Cradle is very good at adding things we don't need in their kits. I don't understand why. All right, so here are the glitter dots. I think we're both going to be starting with orange because that's our surfaces. All right, so Sika, first impression, go for it. We're just supposed to push it down with our fingers. Oh, it's so weird. Oh. It's like putty-ish. The colors aren't as vibrant as I expected, and they're not shiny. I mean, it's glitter. I know, but it's not shiny. You'd expect glitter to be shiny. It feels weird. A little is going a long way. Yeah, though. it's actually not bad. Get, get, get out of my way. And, ooh, yeah, that it does- It feels so funny, eh? It does feel like clay-ish. Maybe like a little glue dot that- Oh, maybe that's what it is. That's maybe what it is. Maybe. I'm curious, though, if it's actually going to stay in place. Oh, oh, you need oh. more. No. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll need more. Getting into the crevices, that's probably why we need this. Oh, look at that. We found use for it, even though it doesn't say to use it in the instructions. All right, so let's, let's fill them up. So as we started, the feeling of the actual glue dot is really nice in between the fingers. I have to admit, I have a lot more contamination than my sister, but the activity itself was actually pretty relaxing. It was super fun, very relaxing, uh, easy to do. That's about it pretty much for me. <laughs> You don't really need that much skill to do this, yeah. so if you're looking for an activity that is relaxing, this one actually did pretty well. Yeah. The other thing that I really liked about this kit is the rope that does not fray. So as we're putting the beads in there, it wasn't starting to go all over the place, it was holding its shape even though I had removed a couple of times because I couldn't make up my mind. <laughs> so I was, I was pretty happy with that. So now the question is, does glitter dots belong in the trash? For me, no. I would no. definitely say worth the cash. Yeah, definitely worth it. Very fun, small activity. What's this? Three people can play at the same time. <laughs> I was like, uh, what? Really? Every time! You're scaring me! <laughs> Next, at $8.78, Magic Transfer Stationery Kit. This stationery kit looks really interesting. I absolutely love the little panda right on there who's kind of doing this. My biggest worry about this kit, even though it says customize with detailed transfers, is that those transfers will technically be just tattoos, but I have high hopes. I'm also afraid that they, they might come out see-through, so the colors won't be as vibrant, but we'll see. And the other thing though, but behind on the box, the designs look adorable, yep. so I'm really excited. I want the panda, if he's there. But there's a whole food section. But pandas... Alright, enough jibba jabba, let's see! But we get inside. That sounds heavy. Here's what we get inside. So we get eight transferred, eight, tra eight. English is so hard! English number one today! Eight design transfer sheets. Eight transfer sheets that have designs on them. Transfer <laughs> sheets? Hey! <laughs> I got this. Don't worry. Big sisters here. We get eight design transfer sheets, and the designs are really cute. Adorable. I love them all. They're so pretty. They come from everything as watercolor roses yeah. to something a little more gothy, which is like the little skulls and things. That you can color in yourself as well. Which includes four metallic markers in green, purple, blue, and gold. One transfer marker, which I think is just humid marker so that we can transfer it kind of like a tattoo. Yeah. My hopes for this kit, by the way, Greens, is this high. Like, I am yeah. hoping. Thing. These designs are so pretty, I really hope they, they transfer nicely. I would be very upset if they if, don't work. Yeah, exactly. Like, extra salty. We also get little sticker designs in circles and rectangles, if you ever want to use them kind of like to bullet journal. We also get six note cards that you can turn into little mini envelope cards if you want to say thank you or, or things like that. I don't know. I'm not very good at stationery. <laughs> Help me! We'll figure it out. And we also get a tiny little notebook. Very plain, very white. Ooh, oh! What's that? Not very plain. No. Oh, that's, that's so, so cute! cute. 
The inside of the notebook has some really cute designs. I thought it was plain. Yeah, I thought so too. I think it's just the outside that's plain so we can design it ourselves kind of thing. But this is absolutely adorable. It could be very cute as a kind of sketchbook. Yep. So far I'm impressed. Crayola, redeem yourself. All right, so we finally chose the designs that we really wanted. I took the cute little derpy unicorn on a cloud because I wanted to see how it transfers and how well we can color it in. And also, it doesn't feel like a tattoo. It just feels like laser printed. That's what it feels like, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're just staring at me like... I'm like, am I saying... And then I took the little strawberry because, again, I wanted to see how small transfers work and how vibrant they are in terms of little designs. And a plain little octopus to color it in again. I took the roses here because I really love the watercolor effect and I'm hoping that the colors come out as nicely uh, once they're transferred as well. Yeah, I think for both of us, one of the things we really wanted to find out is how vibrant these things... And we hear Splinter. I was trying to ignore him. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go get him. <laughs> so here's the little the little buddy who was, per well, meowing outside as though we were making him suffer. It's just he's not allowed in the craft room because we use, like, chemicals and things. Right, buddy? Back outside you go. So according to the instructions, the first thing we have to do is wet the back of the design with the transfer marker and then take the transfer tool and rub it firmly, as they said, and uh, hope that the design comes out. All right, so now Sika's super nervous. She's, she's all the way down there. She's, she's really curious. Okay, you ready? Yeah. They say peel it very slowly. I'm really curious and really hoping that... Oh! Yes? Oh, nice. Oh, that did transfer, but it seems like down here we may have... Doubled it by accident? Yeah, I so think... So probably best to put some tape to hold the corners instead of just fingers. Yeah, because it took two people. We used so many sets of fingers, so it's probably a good idea to just put some tape set. down. Yeah, put some tape. The only thing is if you put some tape down, it might rip the paper too. Froggy tape? The green one? We have to admit, so far, transferring these things not just tickled the little the little geek and, and happy transfery kid inside us, but it was really fun. Relaxing too. It, yeah, it was really relaxing. Super zen. You just have to keep in mind that the marker does have this kind of very acidic smell. But other than that, it's really fun to transfer these. I want to transfer everything now. Yeah, it's super fun and it's so colorful. It's gorgeous. And now my question is, can I transfer on Sika's face? No, we're not doing that. But it's my channel! I do what I want! Okay, bye. I'm gonna go home. No, please, I love you. Now, the only thing really to test out will be the metallic markers and see if they're actually any good. I mean, Crayola did start with making markers, right? Right. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. Interesting far foreign facts. Foreign, foreign facts! <laughs> Crayola actually started in 1885 making pigments that were pretty much used in coloring, well, painting barns. The red. Super interesting. Yeah. Foreign facts. Foreign facts. Time to swatch the metallic mark, mark, metallic mark of things. And here we go with green. Oh, it's actually metallic. Yeah. I, didn't see, I really didn't expect that. We really have such low expectations of Crayola. I guess. Hey, hopefully. their new boxes maybe mean better new products. New box, new me. Exactly. Grayish blue. Oh, that is, that is a really beautiful color. So this is our gold. That is also pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Here is the pink. Purple. It says pink. Was that dry? No. It looks dry. Looks purple though. On closer inspection, the pink... Oh, yeah, okay, it actually... now it looks worse. Yeah, no, the first... Yeah. Oh, wow. It's pretty dry. I think I took all this ink in the first try. Yeah, it's getting drier and drier. There, okay. there, it's empty. So even though Crayola has some pretty good praise so far in this kit, this one was dry. So for under $10, this magic transfer stationery kit is definitely, in my eyes, worth, worth your it. cash. Worth your... Worth... Worth your cash! <laughs> Our next kit... Sprinkle Art Shaker! That was We're so twins! <laughs> This kit has me really confused. Actually, it has both of us confused because the second Sika was saying, is this edible? I was like, no, it's not edible. But they are using the word. Sprinkle. I mean, they, they should technically use glitter. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But maybe it's not glitter because if you look closely on the box, it you see- like sprinkles. Because if we start looking, you need to click. Like 
Start looking close. Oh my gosh! Stop! Are you done? Say what you need. It looks like sprinkles. <laughs> But if you look closely on the box, you'll see that the actual sprinkles that they're using are pellets. So it's possibly that it's just pellet glitter. And then on the side of the box, it does say outline with glue and then shake to decorate. For me, this machine, it is, by the way, a machine. Is it? It's like, please tell me it doesn't, it has batteries, right? Are you Englishing okay? <laughs> oh no, batteries, I don't want batteries. Does it have batteries or do you shake it manually? I hope we shake it manually because shaking it manually, it's usually better. And then in the back, we do see the kinds of glue tubes that we get and the actual contraption itself. So I'm really excited to try it out, which means... Let's see what's inside. I took your, your contraption away, you're too dangerous. Here's what we get inside. We get multiple designs of kind of dessert themed. That's the word, I was gonna say vegetables. Vegetable theme. All right, awesome. I'm having my vegetables. Eats ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be fruits. But let's talk about two designs in particular. This one here where you have two ice cream sundae things flirting with each other. Well, hello. Hi. And then this creepy one. And then we have the huge machine that we're supposed to be able to put the sprinkles in. The five color sprinkles. Which are really cute. Very, very cute colors. Yeah. We also get six glue sticks. <laughs> <laughs> and the instructions mention that we should be putting glue only on the gray areas of the drawings. So it's really just an outline that we're doing and not a full image. And then once we have it in the machine, you shake it up. And then once it's gotten stuck to all of the glue, you push it down towards the side and it goes back into the bottle that it came out from. Just to be clear, this thing uh, uh, doesn't hold very well. So this is going to probably move. In the wild, here appears a very concentrated seeker. <laughs> all right, off we go. Interesting. Alright, I think we got... There we go. Oh my god. So, you shake up the excess and you can put it back in apparently. Uh, kinda. As long as it doesn't fall all over my room. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> so this is pretty much the concept of the whole shakes shaker sprinkle sprinkler sh sprinkler shaker sp sprinkle shaker no do not look at the box don't cheat you cheated yeah what is it sprinkle art shaker <laughs> so for $23, they didn't give any kind of colors whatsoever, so you can color before you do the sprinkle outlines. Once you shake it, now That's what? It. That's it. That's the end of it. It finishes there for $23. So for me, this kit has no value whatsoever. The activity other than shaking stops there. You can't color it, you can't do anything else other than just having shaken it. It's lacking quite a bit of value. So for me, it goes... In the trash! Our next kit is Crayola's Glow Lamp. What attracted to me this? What attracted? What attracted me to this kit? Let's try that again. What attracted me to this kit is the fact that it looks like a really cute little lamp that you could probably pick up from IKEA. So if you're looking for a night lamp that is only fifteen dollars, if this kit works and if it's fun and a good activity, then it would definitely be worth it. So far, the two first ones were pretty good. The third one was not so great. Not sure how I feel about this one. I know you're pretty skeptical about this one, way more yeah. than I am. I love decorating things, and this one kind of looks like a scrapbook kind of lamp lamp. Thingy. Thing I'm about bitch. The thing. Mm. I think we're getting tired. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things that has me really interested is the front of the box makes it so that the lamp is purple, but if you look in the back in terms of the materials, the lamp itself seems to be white. white. But as always, there's only one way to find out. Let's see what's inside. Do you want this? All right, I'll let you take the reins, go for it. Here's what we get inside. A transparenty... 
I guess that's the panels for the lights. But we really thought that these panels, one side would be about this big, but this is this is how big it is. It's no bigger than the width, the length, the length, length of your finger. You also get a bunch of elastics, trashy silver glitter, silver. What is this? Paint marker. Not sure why we get a paintbrush, but I guess we'll find out. Some very light stencer, 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 stencers, decals. Some cute little uh, flowery type stickers and birdies. We love burbs because I got one right next to me. I want to start with. I wasn't listening. Story of my life. Would you say? Sorry, I zoned out. Um... And then we get this kind of template and some more templates of different designs. Let's find out how to use this. Oh, 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 oh. And, and the base for the light. That needs three batteries that are not included. Luckily, they didn't say. Includes everything you need. Includes everything you need. So according to the instructions that Sika read, the uh, paintbrush has no mention whatsoever. There's always a print, a paintbrush. A paintbrush. There's always a paintbrush in most Crayola kits, and we never end up using them. So I don't know if it's like a default. They kind of just like, oh hey, might as well put that in. And and the paintbrush is kind of leading down. Sometimes it leans to the side. Sometimes it leans towards the top. It kind of looks like a Hogwarts broom. Oh, Sika, hmm? such innocence. And now we just put the batteries in. We're really curious if it's a purple light, simply because, again, if on the box, it has a purple light. I, it's not a light, it, it almost looked like, um... It's purply. Yeah. It's just purply. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Kind of curious to see what it's gonna look like once everything's done. Alright, let's decorate. So while Sika goes ahead and tries to trace with the paint marker, you're gonna have to pump it a few times before paint comes yeah, up. Yeah, that I know. <laughs> we have no idea what the glitter is for. We don't even get any kind of paint to go, or uh, we don't get paint for the paintbrush. We don't get any glue for this thing. So it's it's kind of missing. It's like whoever made this kit is like, Just put some things in there and we'll figure it out as they go. And then they'll probably have materials at home. What's the point of a kit if you're not going to give us a coherent theme to make the project. All right, so here is what Sika is tracing so far. The paint marker is really... It's like it's too watery. Yeah, that was that was exactly what I was going to say. It's pretty watery. It's super translucent-y. I'm really curious to see if it's actually going to stick on there and what it's going to look like once we turn the lights on. All right, so as we're figuring it out to put uh, it inside, uh. I know it was such a pain in the butt to get these things actually... Look, 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 look. It's not even closed all the way. It was really hard to put inside. The design itself is just so bland because it's a see-through silvery kind of paint. And I keep touching the paint so I'm getting it all over my hands because it does not stay on the design. <laughs> you could tell Sika's at the end of the uh. rope with this one. Look at this. This is what we're getting. And it's not just honky. It is. And, and the second you're trying to get the pieces in, it's starting to make these different. Yeah, not just pulling out, but they make dents and they're starting to break because it is plastic and it's a very flimsy plastic. So we only decorated two sides because we don't want to waste time on something that looks like this. And this is it with the lights on. All right, let's turn the lights off. And lights off in three, two, one. Oh, so this is what it looks like. I mean, it does light up pretty nicely, but this design is very non-existent. The marker was so terrible. They took the worst color and it does not even stick to the lamp. So it's all over my hands mostly. And not just that, but the way that it lights up is not really a night lamp. I mean, it's almost like you're ready to do a party. It's rave. <laughs> So for $15, this kit really didn't offer much cohesion. I mean, what is, what's, what am I supposed to use this for? What? And the sparkles. Like, the, what are we doing with this glitter? Sprinkles? Sparkles. 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 There's just no sense of cohesion. I feel like this kit probably was in their monthly subscription box because what they end up doing is putting things in their monthly subscription box and then repackaging them and selling them cheaper as kits. That's for real. I'm not even joking. So for us, this kit goes... In the tree! Let us know which kit you had the most hope on because even though we spent different price ranges, our kits that were a lot cheaper were actually a lot more fun, whereas the other ones were just a waste of money, honestly. You sound so irritated right now. I am irritated. Just don't do a hit and run because that my little hut. I won't do it. <laughs> okay, I got goosebumps. I got so scared. <laughs> 
All right, Grains, there is something really important I really have to talk to you about, and this has to do with YouTube's new rules come January 2020. Many of us here in the arts and crafts community will be heavily affected. Just because we do arts and crafts, we may be categorized in the children's content section. Please watch the video I posted on my vlog channel. Link will be down below as well as in the iCard section. This is really a big deal because channels like mine, Mariah Elizabeth, and Delightful might actually be demonetized, which means that we would not be able to make videos anymore. So I really need your help to spread the word and make sure that YouTube does not say that crafts and arts are just a childish thing. Because according to my contact at YouTube, I actually have to stop making craft kit reviews because they're considered for children only. Whereas most of you I know who are watching this are adults or adults even watching with your kids, which means I am family friendly but not targeting children. Please watch the video, it would mean the world to me if you can spread this word. And if you want more updates in case YouTube uh, the salt, hits, the salt hits the fan, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you want to follow my sister, you can follow me on Instagram at sister underscore Sika. Let me know which kit you had the most hope on. Uh, I honestly had the most hope on the lamp. Yeah, same. And it was the worst. It was pretty much... This week's shout outs go to Spooky Lolly Art. Love the image that you drew of Sika and me. Heart Plastic Bee Halter. It really touched my heart that you made a cute little salty thing for your baby. Stranger Excess. Punch Drunk Assassin. Abigail O. Just Dandy Mandy. Love the name. Bliss Animations. Deborah Stull. Cardassi. Crystal. Elisa Bigelow. Sexy Bloody 2. My little creation looks very suave. Cupcake Chen Cosplay. It was really nice meeting you at Comic Con. Was it Otakuthon? Was just nice meeting you. Remember, if you want a shout out in my videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook anytime with any of your creations. If you want to watch another Cash or Trash, check it out up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, make sure you check it out down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.